Most of the countries in the world are using metric system. However, some of them are still using imperial units. Those few countries are Liberia, Myanmar, and of course the United States of America. One of the most famous incident called Gimli Glider involving Boeing 767 happened due to wrong conversions of the units. Gladly, there were only a few non-fatal injuries, but it opened up the importance of the ability to easily convert measuring units. So let's begin with the temperature conversions, which is important for engine's thrust performance. Most countries in the world are using Celsius, where 0 degrees is the temperature when water freezes and becomes ice, and 100 degrees temperature is when water vaporizes. Countries using Fahrenheit are Bahamas, Belize, the Cayman Islands, Palau and the United States. One way to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius is using a formula, where Celsius equals Fahrenheit, subtract 32 and multiply by 5 nines. So 100 degrees of Fahrenheit will be equal to 100 subtract 32 and multiply by 5 nines equals to 37 0.8 degrees in Celsius. That looks complicated, doesn't it? Imagine pilots sitting in the cabin and writing down long formulas to figure out their temperatures. But you know that there is an easier way and every Aviation Academy student should learn to use it. It's CRP computer. Take a look at this handy tool. It's used in general aviation. It helps pilots with conversions, calculations, determinations, and many more things which we will cover in the upcoming videos. So let's convert the temperature. It is the easiest thing to do on CRP. The usage is pretty straightforward, just read the equivalent in front of the temperature amount you want to convert. The bottom of CRP has temperature scale which gives exact conversions from Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. Mass conversion is a little bit trickier but we can still do it with CRP up to some limit of preciseness. So let's see how to use CRP for mass conversion. Rotate in a scale to your desired conversion amount until the weight numbers matches the kilogram arrow, then turn the cursor to the pounds arrow which will give you the weight in pounds. Since aircraft is limited with the takeoff mass but refueling is done in liters, which makes it confusing. To get your fuel mass, you should multiply the volume of fuel in liters by the fuel specific gravity. Specific gravity is the ratio of density of the substance to the density of water at the specified temperature. Specific gravity information is provided by the refueling services. Fuel in kilograms equals fuel in liters multiplied by specific gravity. In order to do this on CRP computer, we have to align the number of liters we want to convert to liter arrow at the top of the CRP computer. Then we have to rotate the cursor to the kilogram section on the left and align the cursor with the fuel specific gravity, which we were provided by refueling services. Once aligned, we can read that for example 20 liters of fuel with the specific gravity of 0.75 is 15 kilograms of fuel. If we desire to convert the same 20 liters of fuel with specific gravity of 0.75 to pounds, we have to rotate the cursor through 0.75 on the specific gravity scale and we can read that it is approximately equal to 33 pounds of fuel. As usual, the real life is a little bit more complicated and this video only gives you a general understanding and idea of how to use CRP. Remember to always read the manual of your CRP. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for other videos.